Hey, what's going on, guys? In today's video, we dropped a high kill gameplay on Fortune's Keep with the UGM LMG from Call of Duty Vanguard. The end game for this gameplay was absolutely crazy. Trust me, guys, you're gonna want to stick around for that one. But if you're interested in the class setup for the UGM, that will be at the end of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed the gameplay. Okay, time to back up. Enemy soldier nearby. Ah! Easy peasy. Got him. Airstrike. Let's watch the light. This is Phoenix 3. Strike is out. Enemy soldier. Oh my god, how do you not hit me? How do you not hear me, buddy? I'm out. Enough with the decoy, bro. Oh my god, I'm about, I'm about to get pushed by the whole lobby, bro. Got him. Got him. Oh, we are. Alright, uh, come on, submit to survive, boys. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let them survive just so they can respawn and stuff. Like, how you alive still, bro? This gun's shredding, man. Enemy dropping I'm already getting sniped that, bro. This is not good. Got him. Oh, my. 
my god. Not good, not good, not good, not good. You're so weird, you're so weird. No, dude. Oh, this is it. Come on. Oh my god, oh my god. Alright guys, so for the class setup for the muzzle, I was using the MX silencer for the sound suppression, horizontal and vertical recoil control and damage range. For the barrel, I was using the Bernard XL214 736mm for the recoil control, bullet velocity, flinch resistance, and reduced scope sway and gun bob. For the optic, because I am playing Fortune's Keep or Rebirth Island, which are both very small maps, I like using the G16 2.5x scope. For the stock, we're using the Mercier WT which gives you recoil control when mounted cr and crouched and accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. For perk 1, we were using tight grip for the accuracy and recoil control during sustained fire. For perk 2, we were using fully loaded for the max starting ammo. For the rear grip, we were using the hatch grip for the recoil control and flinch resistance. So for the magazine, I was using the .303 British 75 round. It gives you recoil control, extra fire rate, movement speed, and hip fire accuracy. The only thing is, there is another, there is a better magazine that I just haven't unlocked yet. For right now, if you're just starting up with the class of that man, this is the uh, magazine you want to be using. For ammunition, I was using Langton for more bullet velocity. But for the underbarrel, the M1941 handstop for the recoil control is what I've been using. But when I do unlock the Carver foregrip, that is the one I will be using. So that's the class up, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>